Mr. Math here, thanks for watching my videos. Be sure to like and subscribe and remember to click the bell icon to be notified of updates. Hello again viewers, welcome back to Let's Play Paper Mario the Origami King. We're here in Diamond Island, which honestly does not really qualify as an island because it's under the surface of the ocean rather than on the surface of the ocean but you know let's not waste time splitting hairs and we've got the ice belly mental and the three orbs of power wisdom and courage so we're done here and we can head back to the surface If you wish to return to the surface of the Great Sea, just say the word. Yes, please. Alright, here we are. So, open the sea chart real fast. Now, as I want to do for things like this, I did a bit of research online. And we found all the islands. I was wrong. Apparently there's only 11 islands rather than 13. And we have all 11 of them. But there is one treasure that I have not found yet. And it's located right in the middle of that big star compass down at the bottom left corner. So I'm going to take a trip down there. Ah! Money fish! Come here! Ah, darn it. Stupid little islands keep locking my way. Darn it, it got away from me. Where is it? There it is. At least we're going more or less south, so southeast. Okay, we're done with that. Back to the southwest. Smack right in the middle of this stuff. Where am I? Pretty much right on course, fortunately. There's Question Mark Island receding into the distance. Alright. So... I'm far enough to the west, now I have to go a little bit further south. Now look at this. I can see something shiny on the sea floor. It's treasure! It has to be treasure! Okay. This should be about the right spot. And let's see. Oh, look at that. with a heart on it. Canned heart. A mysterious can from beneath the sea. Can it be opened? Oh no, and we don't know anyone who acts as a living can opener. A can out here? Hmm. Bet there's something good inside. Where's a can opener when you need one? Uh, up in the Autumn Mountain, that's where. I've been wanting to go back to Toad Town for a while. 
So, you know what? Return to town. But first, yeah. There's a little X underneath where I am now, so I've got that. So, return to town. I've actually been wanting to return to Toad Town for a little bit now, and this is ex as good a reason as any. Autumn Mountain isn't too far away, fortunately. The cable car, right here in town, will take me directly there. Toad Tram. Auto Mountain, please. All right, here we are. Okay. Is there anything else here to do? Find? Oh, I don't have all the collectible treasures, and I don't have all the question mark blocks. Okay. Well, since I don't have all the question mark block... Oh, I already have the question mark block bell equipped. Perfect. Okay. Let's go back here and pick up these coins. Oh, there's a question mark walk here. Is it in the middle of the coins? Yes, it is. Ha ha ha. Shiny hammer. A little bit outdated at this point. But, hmm. I'll be fighting outdated monsters here. You know, unless I manage to evade all of them. <coughs> Well, since that was the last question mark block, let's switch to the collectible treasure bo blo uh, bell. Since there's at least one more. Let's see here. Stop trying to escape. The hammer comes for all of you. Whether you like it or not. Right then. So these guys are all still here. My Amigo's jumpers are cooler than cool. He can open cans. He's an open and fool. Everybody loves canned food. Me love to open can with face. You have can? Need open? As a matter of fact, yes. Max up heart plus five. Okay. The math person in me prefers 175 to 170 because that's a even multiple of 25, which is an interesting number. As long as we're here, let's try the River Rapids course again.
We have all the coins along the way, blah, blah, blah. Okay, there's some coins. Let me get them. Thank you. Thread the needle. Ow, last it. Well, there's plenty of hearts along the way to fix the boat with. Okay, so sort of aim down and then turn, and turn again, and up, alright, so far so good. Oh, I missed it! Darn it! Ugh. Well, that one didn't go too well. Two hits and I missed one of the coins. rocks, but if you go for the coins, up, 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 if you go for the coins, you can miss the rocks, go up here, get this coin, down here, turn really sharply, Thread the needle through these uh, whirlpools. For a moment, my brain wanted me to say the word waterfalls, but I knew that was the wrong word, and I just couldn't remember what word I wanted to say. <laughs> okay, so this one is really tricky. Ow. You gotta get right along the edge of this big whirlpool, but not so close that you get sucked in like that. That's how you kind of sort of fling yourself into that little tunnel up at the top. Yep. Well, I made it, but uh, I didn't get all the coins. Hmm. A little coin shy? Excuse you. I did the best I could. Wasn't good enough in this case. Well, no matter. I can do it as often as I want. Pretty sure I have everything in Shogun Studios, don't I? No. No, I don't. Huh. There are a lot of question mark blocks. And there's at least one collectible treasure. Okay, well, um side trip, I guess. Back into Shogun Studios. Make way, royalty coming through. Uh, 
Okay. Well, I believe I have the question mark block bell equipped. No, I don't. Ugh, I don't okay. Now I have an equip. Accessories. Okay. It has all the silver stuff and one of the gold items. And the paddle bag. Turns confetti into cherry blossom petals. Kind of looks neat, but it's purely cosmetic. And honestly, I have better use for my accessory slots. And, you know, as I have said before, in this and other Let's Plays, I'm a collector. So, we'll just buy them all. I certainly have the money now. Okay. The gold stuff can wait for later. Accessories. Yeah, I'm staying with what I've got, thank you. I really should have equipped the silver membership card, darn it. Did I buy the treasure in here? I did buy the treasure in here, okay. okay. There's no question mark block in here. The bell would have rung if there was. How about upstairs? Nope. All right then. Check the map again really fast. So in both the Ninja Attraction and Big Show Theater, there's nothing else to get. Okay. So that limits the space I have to search by a little bit. I still have to look inside each house, though. That's going to be a pain. Hmm. Wow, check out this Rivergate. Isn't it incredible? It's probably the coolest thing in the entire park. Yeah, Rivergate! Woo! Normally, the collectible treasures here in Shogun Studios, at least, are prizes for the mini games. But I'm pretty sure I've done all the mini games. So, where's the final collectible treasure? I know that getting all the coins on the River Rapids course gets me one of the collectible treasures, but I don't know if it's the one for um, Autumn Mountain or the one for Shogun Studios. If we go back to the map here, see it says that there are no collectible treasures for the Eddy River. So that means the collectible treasure I get from that minigame either counts for Autumn Mountain or it counts for Shogun Studios. I'm just not sure which it is. Nothing in here. No hidden blocks, at least. hidden blocks in here.
nor in here. Yeah, I said it when we were here before, but I love the music for Shogun Studios. When you have it all cleared out like this and it's completely reopened, you know, the, the blend of traditional shamisen and modern rock it's just, it's really cool. And the photography studio. Huh. Yep, there's Bobby. Hmm. There's something else about these pictures that I'm going to want to go into later. Now is not the time for it, but eventually. Right, well anyway, there's no hidden blocks in there. in these places. What are you so scared of? Footsteps on the roof? No, it's just me. I climb up there to get the coins. And or to go up the top of the bell tower since the ladder is broken. It's unusual that, what's the percentage, 44% of the, yeah, 44%, that means there's something like five left, that's actually quite a few. None of them are up here though. How did I miss that many? Well, because they were invisible, so I couldn't see them, that's how. But there's so many of them left, at least five. I haven't found any of them yet. This is kind of odd. what it is. I've eliminated nearly half the park. Haven't found any of them yet. Anything in the shuriken minigame? Nope. I mean, wow. Yeah, that's something like half the park checked now and no question mark blocks of any kind. 
hidden or otherwise. Pretty sure the courtyard in here is part of the theater. Yeah, this is part of the theater. So there's nothing in here either. Nothing in the backyard, I'll wager. But hey, if I'm wrong about that. Okay, there's one of these guys in the backyard. Not what I'm looking for. Hmm. Aha! Finally got something. Just a hurl hammer. Okay, what percentage do I've got now? 56. Okay. Yeah, so it looks like there's nine total. And now I have five of them. So that means four left. next room over. Nope. All right. And how about over here? How about in the tea house? this combing the place and I've only found a single one. There's still four to go. I don't have time for you, Chompy. No, thank you. This is the ninja dojo, whatever I'm gonna call it. So, definitely nothing in there. Okay, there's something nearby. Hmm. Maybe something right here, but no. How about up here? Aha! A tanuki tail! Alrighty. And the bell rang over here, didn't it? Yes. Aha! An ice hammer, okay. That's actually a good find, in my opinion. So. Two more to go. Not in here. Kind of running out of places for it to be. <laughs> I've combed most of the park. 
After this, all that's left is the staff room. Seriously? Obviously that's not everywhere. I mean, obviously it's not everywhere because if it was everywhere I'd have found them by now, but it sure feels like it's everywhere. into maybe it's up it's in, in Could it possibly be in here? It doesn't seem right, but... Mm, no. Not in here either. Okay. Hmm. Alright, there's, of course, outside the park. I really have been everywhere. All that's left is back out here. Thanks for visiting. Definitely is something here. Perhaps in the middle? Aha! A fire hammer! Alright. That means there's still one left, though. Just one. Ugh. But still, my goodness. It feels like I've combed the entire place. Obviously, I haven't. It sure feels like I have. Okay, the bell does not continue ringing when I come over here, so that means that's the only one there. Nothing down here on the dock. Mm, 
Nothing in this little cul-de-sac here. Where have I not been? Hmm. I didn't walk in very far. Maybe it's behind them? Okay, no. I don't want to talk to you. I want to jump up there. back here. Okay. I've definitely checked the store. Hmm. This is a real puzzle. in here. I've been back here. sure I've been in here. I definitely checked the shuriken attraction. Hmm. This is really annoying. Maybe they faked me out. There was that curl hammer that I got in this backyard here. There could have still been another one around here, but no, it doesn't look like it. Hmm. Okay, no fake out, at least not here. Info Center, the Shuriken Dojo, the Dress Up Photo Studio, Lookout Tower, House of Riddles, Big Show Theater, House of Tricky Ninjas, Petting Zoo, Tranquil Pipes Tea House, Souvenir Shop. I'm sure that I searched all of these. House of Tricky Ninjas is its own little place, so the missing box is not going to be hidden in there. Ditto for Big Show Theater. And I've been everywhere else. I'm sure that I have. So that means it's one of the houses which aren't counted as attractions that I need to check. At least that seems to be what that would mean. Yeah, it's, that would seem to imply that it's one of these houses here. Ah. There's something around here, is there? Hmm. Back here, perhaps? Oh, darn it. I didn't want to go in. Definitely over here somewhere.
Hmm. Okay. Didn't want to talk to her. I wanted to get the hidden block on Hyder. There we go. Aha! The last block and the last collectible treasure. Excellent. Oh, darn it. <laughs> I keep pushing X when I want to push Y. Okay, that took me a lot longer than I expected. I didn't mean to come into Shogun Studios at all, let alone take this long here. Unfortunately, I'm not done in the Autumn Mountain. There's still more out there that I need to get. But Shogun Studios itself is completely done. Shogun Studios, the larger area, and the Ninja Attraction and Big Show Theater, all done. And the Eddie River, for whatever that's worth. But Water Valley Mental Shrine, Chestnut Valley, and Autumn Mountain itself. There's still some stuff there. Okay, since I have all the collectible treasures at Shogun Studios, that must mean that the Eddie River prize, the collectible treasure, gets applied against Autumn Mountain here. So, Chestnut Valley. There's a question mark block there. Water Valley Mental Shrine, there's a question mark block and a hole. But those can wait for later. Something else I wanted to deal with back in town. Only not exactly back in town, but rather back in the campsite. that blooper there. Monster fish of the great sea, 400 centimeters. That's not a fish, that's a cephalopod. Uh, I guess you can't expect scientific accuracy from a Mario game. Cheap, cheap, 219 centimeters. Hmm. Odd that it doesn't have its own title the way that giant blooper did. Maybe that means I don't have the largest one yet. Okay. Let's get back to the campsite. It's too bad there's not a convenient fast travel spot there, but... Yeah. Sometimes you just have to enjoy the view instead of zip on through. Nothing wrong with that. Do, 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 do. Nice relaxing walk down a country road. So now I have a giant scallop. And that giant scallop might be tasty. Should we try cooking something here? Yes. was too close for clam. I mean, too clam for comfort. I mean, I've been in that clam for way too long. That's a scallop, my friend. Oh, it's you, Mario. Did you save me? That's so cool of you. I'm actually the caretaker here. I left to search the Great Sea for exciting, innovative barbecue ingredients. It was a great adventure, but I missed cooking up baby back ribs. 
So it's good to be back, baby. Better get your vest. Ha ha ha! 100% of the toes rescued. I don't know why campfires are so appealing. Maybe because they're kind of dangerous and wild? Okay, he doesn't have anything to say about the fact that a half-naked toe jumped out of a scallop shell. Kind of resembling the Venus de Milo. Which is a rather disturbing image when you put it into words like that. Anyway, the caretaker's finally back, so... My resident toad is back, but there seems to be a change in the resident's dress code. Put on some clothes, dude. Ah, it's nice and warm here, and it smells like ribs. Old Grand Sappy Collectible Treasure. You remember that big tree in the forest? Kind of sounds like it's singing when the wind blows, right? Biggest tree we ever logged, and totally worth it. Now we've got all the scrap and firewood we need. And you can log them again because I brought them back. <laughs> well, that should be everything in Whispering Woods now. No, no it's not. There's another question mark block somewhere. Hmm. Well, I have the question mark block accessory equipped. Let's see if we can find it. See you later. It's not back here. Not over here. Where is it? Okay. Let's see. So it's got to be kind of sort of over here somewhere. Here, perhaps? Aha! There we go. Just a fire flower, but fire flowers are good. And... 100% of everything in Whispering Woods. Toad Town? We still have a lot of treasures there. But that's no big deal. Graffiti Underground. I haven't been paying attention to that, have I? I mentioned way back whenever that things change down there with each chapter. And here I am, several chapters in, never went back down to check. I think that'd be a good way to end the video, seeing how it's changed down there. And hey, maybe I can finally put that uh, manhole cover hook back on its, well, hook, and finally get it out of my inventory. I don't know, it just kind of annoys me. A place for everything and everything in this place, right? While I'm here, here's the accessory shop. What have you got? The ally tambourine. Okay. Again, absolutely no point to it. Because, you know, your allies... That'd be like Bobby and Professor Toad. Bobby, well rest in peace and all that so it's not useful for him Professor Toad's only useful for him if I return to the desert and I don't need to because I've got everything there so you know doesn't actually help me at all
so. Uh, oh well. I am a collector. I wanted it. Buddy doesn't have the sewer hook anymore. I do. And I don't need it. Let me put it back. Yeah. Yeah. My inner clean freak is disappointed. You know why everyone around here loves the sewer, right? It's because of the artwork. Wait, why did you think everyone was always lining up to go down there? Because they like the smell? I don't know. I'm going down there because I used to be a plumber. And it's kind of my, you know, regular environment. So yeah, the Graffiti Underground. Mario and Peach. Bowser in the background. Not in the background anymore. Punches Mario through the wall. Peach is set. And hey, Luigi comes in to guard the way while Peach flees. Ah, but he didn't get very... he didn't last very long. And now Bowser keeps going. Toads are trying to impede his progress as they lead Peach away. And for now, that's it. But all that artwork will get completed later. Time-wise, we do have a few extra minutes, but you know what? Not very many, so I think this is the place to end the episode. Viewers, thank you very much for watching this episode of Let's Play Paper Mario the Origami King. In the next episode, well, we'll either return to the Great Sea, or we'll go back to the Water Valley Mental Shrine and try to finish out the extras there. Maybe both. You know what? Probably both. But it'll definitely be at least one of those. <laughs> at any rate, see you in the next episode.